Good evening, welcome to ITV News. This is Thursday Night Calendar with Rachel Townsend and Duncan Wood. And here are tonight's main stories. Anger among victims of the infected blood scandal as the former health minister gives evidence at an inquiry. His attitude towards us is absolutely appalling. First tonight to anger from campaigners fighting for answers about why haemophiliacs were given life-threatening infections through contaminated blood products. Yes, between the 1970s and 80s, clotting agent Factor 8 was given to thousands of people. It had been sourced from high-risk donors like prisoners, drug addicts and prostitutes. Now, an inquiry where dozens of victims and their families from our region have given evidence has heard testimony from a former health minister about the government's handling of the scandal. Michael Billington reports. What's been called the biggest treatment disaster in the history of the NHS followed claim campaigners by the biggest insult. Anger today from those seeking answers about why they or their loved ones were given contaminated blood products infected with HIV and hepatitis. He's not given any remorse to any of us that's been infected or affected by this inquiry. For the last three days, Ken Clark, the former health minister, has given evidence to the infected blood inquiry. The hearing was shown comments from the early 80s made during his time in the Department of Health. In a press release from September 1983, Lord Clark is quoted as saying, it's been suggested that AIDS may be transmitted in blood or blood products. There is no conclusive proof, he said, that this is so. Seems to me, having looked at these documents, it... The no conclusive proof phrase, these three words are taken out as though they're loaded with significance. The three no conclusive proof is a perfectly accurate description of the then medical opinion. In all, almost 5,000 people were infected with HIV and hepatitis in the 1970s and 80s. Nearly 3,000 of them have since died. Of the 1,200 people infected with HIV, just under 300 of them are still alive today. The death toll continues to rise. Mel Mackay from Sheffield is one of dozens from our region infected following the scandal. She contracted HIV after being given Factor 8 as a young child. She says she's disappointed that she didn't get the apology from the former health minister that she'd hoped for. It hurts. Uh, it's upsetting. We've lost too many people. We're still losing friends, um, friends and loved ones, and too many people are still dying. His evidence makes up a piece of the jigsaw, but there are lots of other pieces of the jigsaw that can still be put together. What we hope is that there is enough evidence there. so we do get a reliable picture of what happened at the time. We can understand what went wrong and learn lessons for the future and make sure it doesn't happen again. We've contacted Lord Clark for his response, but in his closing remarks, he told the inquiry. Uh, I'm sorry that you know, 30, 40 years later, they're having such difficulties in uh, living with the consequences for them and their families of, of the tragedy. And campaigning, I suspect, something of an outlet for their feelings about this disaster that struck them or someone they've lost. The inquiry will now break for the summer. When it resumes, those both infected and affected by the scandal hope it will finally bring them answers to years of unanswered questions. Michael Billington, ITV News.